Let's take a look at the EV to EBITDA and EV to EBIT multiples. Starting with EV to EBITDA, we take the enterprise value, which is $2.3 billion, and divide it by the EBITDA, which we found on the income statement, $650 million. If EBITDA is not explicitly given, you can simply take EBIT and add back depreciation and amortization, or take pre-tax earnings, add back interest, and add back depreciation and amortization. This gives us a multiple of 3.5 times. Let's compare that to the EV to EBIT multiple. EBIT is only 250 million, so this multiple is 9.2 times. So what does this tell us? Well, it tells us that this company has a large depreciation and amortization expense. As you can see, there's quite a big difference between EBIT and EBITDA. Now, this is a non-cash expense, so in a sense, it might not impact cash flow or valuation. But the flip side is that it most likely indicates a large amount of capital expenditures that are required for this business. So we'll have to look at other metrics like free cash flow to the firm to properly understand the cash flow profile and valuation of this company. It's important to note that EV to EBIT and EV to EBITDA are some of the most commonly used metrics in valuation. They're used much more than EV to sales or EV to free cash flow. EV to EBITDA is probably the most common metric you will encounter in business valuation.